what people are looking at in terms of our micro learning is becoming the central learning strategy for the company and the talent management of any company revolves around the learning function. People are looking in terms of analytics around learning to probably look at in terms of careers of the people and how the competency and careers could be defined for people from a role and a skill perspective. So there's a lot of change which we have seen over the time. I personally believe that if the learning professional look at learning as a fulcrum to the entire talent life cycle of an employee and look at this not just a siloed function, but as a homogeneous function from how people are going to recruit people, how onboard them, how learning is imparted, how they do it in terms of what the performance reviews are done. If learning becomes a fulcrum for all these functions where nothing is siloed, but looking at the employee life cycle, I think that's one myth I've seen a lot of learning professions get into in terms of looking this as a siloed function, where learning is just not a siloed function. It's part of an entire talent value life cycle of an employee, and they should look at an employee rather than looking at a function. The one is appreciation of data is the base on which people are driving outcomes. If if learning professionals look at in terms of how the analytics are playing functions and driving that data to drive the careers of the people and, and the competence in the school, that's what learning professionals should look at. Second is, I think the learning professionals need to probably appreciate the fact that business is where the value is getting created. Learning professionals should look at in terms of what are the right ways in terms of aligning to the business objectives how people are being getting onboarded and trained. I think those are the broader strategic function on which learning professionals should focus on rather than just look at content as a GPS, which is the wrong strategy, which I see now. I think the data should come uh, where you want to define what kind of skills, what kind of competencies, what kind of roles, who's getting redundant, what kind of skill set I need to perform, and then look at in terms of how you're going to drive content and curate content based on the employee needs or a business needs. Business is asking for speed, agility, and innovation. If you look at these are the anchors itself and how HR professionals should look at in terms of what talent outcomes you need to drive, which is aligned to business objectives, what kind of user experience you're delivering for the employees of the company, and what kind of people analytics you're deploying in terms of delivering that experience. I think those are the anchors which people should look at. I think everything which People Matters does is deliver, uh, one is the quality of audience and the conversation which emanate from them are kind of ahead of the curve where people probably take some thoughts back as to how they're going to align their vision and strategy in terms of what the people are asking for. I think it's a great platform where value is getting created and it depends on our people like us, how we deliver back to the professionals, both from a learning or HR professionals. I think today Cornerstone works with more than like probably like 27 million customers who use our learning platform for delivering that learning back to their employees. I mean, people in India, like at the end of the day, if we have GenPact is the clearing example. I mean, 70,000 people across the globe use our platform to deliver that value back to the employees. So we've been number one in providing learning technology to learning professionals.